Emmerdale. Yeah. So you left, and, and it was tremendous. You won a lot of awards for your performance as Ashley and, and, yeah. and the suffering with dementia that he went through. But can I just ask you, do you what you were on Emmerdale for how long, John? It was 21 years in total. Years. Yeah, I think. A yeah. lifetime, more or less. Half my professional life, yes. yes. <laughs> do you watch it now? Do you miss it? No, I, I, uh, I don't watch it. I'm afraid this is an omission, but it's not because I don't think it's good. I think it's absolutely terrific, and, you know, everybody else thinks that. It's not just me. But I had to shut the door on that, put it behind me, move on to the next thing. Uh, and I had to make it as abrupt as that, really, yeah. uh, just for my own peace of mind and uh, the, just my, you know, getting my head around the fact that I, this is a new start to my career uh, and a very exciting one. And it's, it's another chapter. But you're still living up in Yorkshire. I mean, I did yeah. count down up there for 26 years. I lived I in Yorkshire. I love Yorkshire, absolutely. Yeah. I laughed like a drain for, for all <laughs> of that time with Richard Whiteley. Yeah. And, uh, and I miss it. But you're staying on in uh, Harrogate, is it? Like? Harrogate, yes. I wouldn't live anywhere else now. Really? Uh, I mean, obviously, my wife and I moved there because of the job and this and the other, because it's very, very handy. It's 20 minutes away from the village location on the Harewood estate. But I just love it there, and I've made a lot of friends there now. And also, um, I mean, I say, uh, you know, I've stopped watching the show, but I still see they're old friends, mates, and, they? and they're all in arrogance. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, just talking about the dementia storyline, because often, um, you know, storyline that appears on a soap, because they are our most popular programmes, yeah. has, strikes a resonance with people who are watching. Yes. And did you find that? Have a lot of people come to you, you know, when you've been out and about and talked to you about the dementia storyline? Hardly a day goes by, s still, when someone doesn't stop me in the street yeah. and say, listen, thank you very much for telling that story, and then they'll tell me their story in very moving detail, because so many people know someone, a very close relative or, or friend, Absolutely. who has dementia. I mean, 850,000 people are diagnosed with dementia now. That figure's likely to rise to over a million by 2020, 2050, I think, anyway. It's the biggest health concern we have. And so, yes, the story itself had an extraordinary rev resonance. It was like banging a gong, because it's so common. Uh, and, uh, and because of that, we realised we had an extraordinary weight of responsibility to get it right. As you just said, shows like ours are popular. Absolutely. Therefore, it's expected that we'll be merely populist and then sensationalise a story like that and cheapen it. Yeah. And we knew we just didn't have to do that. We had to keep it real and we had to know how to do that. We had to do a lot of research. And the Alzheimer's Society, Dementia Forward, uh, the Methodist Homes, the Pathways Breaks Group in Rat Bradford, they all piled And in. you still work with them, don't you? I do, yeah. yeah. Because it's, it's one of those issues that once you walk into it, you can't walk away from it. Yeah. Because it's vastly important. Um, and I will do everything I can, as often as I can. Uh, for any one of those societies. Well, well done for breaking that taboo, cos it really did with that storyline. Had to uh, be done. It brought it to everybody's attention. Uh, <laughs> but thank you, John, for uh, coming in this morning. So, uh, Emmerdale uh, 1918 yes. is on ITV at 8.30 on Thursday. That's right. Yeah, all the best. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, John.